Crystal Palace have had a very shaky start to the season. Meanwhile, West Ham have been off to a complete howler and they are ruining teams left, right and center. Beating Newcastle 4-2, beating Leicester 4-1, while Crystal Palace and the Eagles haven't been soaring at their best. With two losses and a draw to start the campaign, one loss being in the cup. But they, these two teams have had completely opposite starts to the season and they will face off tomorrow in the Premier League. West Ham United will be playing Crystal Palace, guys. And this is my season preview for Crystal Palace versus West Ham. So Crystal Palace has had a very interesting start to the season. One of the worst schedules possible you could have asked for. Coming up against the European champions, Chelsea. A lot of people criticized Vieira a little bit in that game. For me, I don't think you can. You're playing the best team or one of the best teams in the Premier League this year. And they really, Crystal Palace did do better this year in the first game of the season than they did last year under Roy Hodgson, allowing fewer goals. And then you go away to Brentford. I know a lot of people were criticizing Crystal Palace not for getting the win and criticizing Brentford for not beating Crystal Palace. But you got to look at how Crystal Palace played. Vieira was able to implement, implement his style and the way he wanted to play with this Crystal Palace side. He played a pressing side, a side that looks like they want to go on the front foot, score goals, and play progressive soccer and or football and not play negative football they were very positive very fun to watch at times they did sit back because they did have to but you could see Vieira did like the press he was doing the press very well like Connor Gallagher and the rest of the forwards and especially through the back I really enjoyed how Patrick Vieira is trying to play out of the back with this side after bringing in two solid center backs that can play out the back with Mark Gaye and Joaquin Madison it looked very very good against Brentford and personally I thought Crystal Palace should have nicked a win against Brentford just unlucky not to get that goal and they need a number nine badly before this window ends because it'll be very ropes to see what VR can manage with this team obviously as is still out once as comes back that will add another dimension to this Crystal Palace side but losing to Watford in the cup isn't the end of the world I know a lot of people, uh, people thought are worried and annoyed about that loss I'm not too worried about that, guys. It's only a cup game. Move on. The, the season's going to be good. But, like I said, Crystal Palace does have a very, very poor schedule. Have to go play West Ham now. Then you play Spurs. Then Liverpool. If Vera can pick up some points from this, it'll be a win. And people should look at it as a massive win if he can get a point or a couple points from this. Because it would be huge for him to get something from West Ham, Spurs, or Liverpool. And then you look at the other side of the coin here, guys. West Ham United. Scoring 8 goals in 2 games, coming from behind to beat Newcastle United on the opening day of the season. And then they came up against Leicester City, the team who just finished 1 place above them in 5th. And Leicester City were pumbled by West Ham. 4-1, Iosley Perez got a red card. Mal uh, Michael Antonio scores, be making himself the highest ever goal scorer in West Ham history. And this West Ham team look unbelievable. They've just gone out and signed Kurt Zuma that'll boost that fan base, boost the team. Which they already didn't really need a boost. But this is going to be very tough for Crystal Palace guys. Obviously it's a London derby. It's a London game. But you you got you got to question how it's going to go here. For the likes of Patrick Vieira and this Crystal Palace side. Coming up against an extremely good West Ham team. It's going to be very interesting. And you just look at this West Ham side. And how Crystal Palace has started. Complete polar opposites. I, I would really be... Excited to see if Vieira can get a point from here. I really think Vieira, if this is one of the three games against West Ham, Spurs, or Liverpool, I think he can get something against West Ham. West Ham are bound to have a slip very soon. And a point would be massive for Patrick Vieira. I feel like this game has a smell of 1-1. I feel like Vieira is going to nick his first, they're going to nick their first goal. Crystal Palace fans are going to get excited. I'd get excited if we scored our first goal. And I think we really need it to get going, to get started. If I feel like if Crystal Palace scores first, It'll be a draw or a win for Crystal Palace. But if West Ham scores, I just don't see a way back. I think it'll be 1-0 um, or 2-1. Uh, I just feel like it'll be a 1-1 draw. But if we score first, I will give us the win. It'll be a very good game. I feel like this is a game where Patrick Vieira can keep implementing his style like he did against Brentford. He can keep the press. I think he can. if he can press this West Ham side, it'll be a very good game and very fun to watch. And if Conor Gallagher can play as good as he has been, whew, it'll be a great game. Wilfred Zaha needs to get into mix. I have him in my FPL. Fingers crossed he will do something great. But guys, I feel like between Crystal Palace and West Ham, it will be a 1-1 draw. 
Should I pick the goal scorers? I'll pick the goal scorers. Mikhail Antonio is obviously going to score for Sead ben Benrama. I'll give it to Mikhail Antonio. And for Crystal Palace, Connor Gallagher. I feel like he's going to kick off the Patrick Vieira era, and he will be the first guy to score. 1-1, Crystal Palace versus West Ham, guys, is my match prediction and for my match preview. But guys, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments about the video and what you think is going to happen in the game between Crystal Palace and West Ham. I'm very intrigued to see what you guys think because it'll be a very, very good London Derby this weekend and tomorrow but guys let me know what you guys think down below if you haven't already hit the subscribe button it means the world to me and i will see you guys for the next one peace